Hi everyone, welcome to the lab. This time I have a pair of KRK Rocket 6 Studio Monitor speakers for repair. I picked them up for free. They are in good physical shape and both power up and these logos light up. But uh, both speakers have some problems. One speaker has no output at all and the other one has some output from the tweeter but nothing from the woofer. Let's take a look. A quick look on the back. The model is RPG2FG, made in China. We have mains input, mains voltage selector, power switch, XLR and TRS balanced inputs, RCA unbalanced input, volume control, and high frequency level adjust. This is a switch with four positions, 0 dB, 1 dB boost, 1 dB cut, and 2 dB cut. Here we are inside, and this massive transformer means we have a linear mode power supply. So this uh, mains voltage selector selects appropriate primary side uh, sections, and the secondary side has uh, five wires. The center top is this uh, black wire, and the yellow wires are for 15.2 volt uh, sections from the center top and these red ones are 21.5 volts from the center tap. And this uh, separate board is the preamp, obviously, and this must be the power amplifier. And this pair of wires is marked HF, so this must be for the tweeter. And this must be the woofer, and this must be LED in the logo. I don't like the look of this resistor at all. And it seems to me we have another instance of corrosive glue. In one of my recent videos I repaired the Rattel receiver, which had a corrosive glue similar to this. And uh, one diode was damaged and uh, one trace on the PCB as well. So perhaps we have something similar here. This seems to be a bleeding resistor across this capacitor in the power supply. And this must be the other one for this capacitor. So uh, even if uh, this one is damaged, it should not be the reason that there is no sound. So there must be something else wrong. But I see uh, this glue in several places. Here, here, and uh, there, and uh, over there, and also over there. So, something else must be wrong somewhere. Or maybe something unrelated to the glue altogether. Here is a closer look at this amplifier. And I think I see some corrosion here on this link, on this resistor, and on this bracket here. And I think this capacitor bulged. So I think I need to do some cleanup where this glue is, look for damaged components and the check electrolytic capacitors. Sure enough, this bulged capacitor is dead. It should be 220 microfarads. And we read about 2 microfarads. And the SR is 35 ohms. This area was covered with this nasty stuff and I checked the transistor here and it didn't look right so I desoldered it and sure enough the legs are corroded and one leg fell right off. Unfortunately because of the glue the marking on it is not readable. I tried cleaning it with alcohol but it didn't help much. I still cannot read it. I found schematics. Perhaps a slightly different model it says uh, RP6G2 here, and on the picture here I see RPG2, and we have RPG2FG. So maybe it is slightly different model. And the schematic here at the end seems to match. Let's make it slightly larger. And the transistor in question is here in this power supply plus and minus 15 volt rails 
and the designators match the board Q101 and this one is Q102 and I can read the marking on this transistor and it matches this uh, B647 so this one must be NPN device D667 and the bulged capacitor is this one which is on the input to this low frequency amplifier this capacitor was right next to the transistor and it is corroded as well all right the cleanup is done new resistor here new transistor and new capacitors here the glue is removed for the most part to make sure there is no other damage to the board and components and now it's time to power this thing up and see if we have plus and minus 15 volt rails look at this it is powered up and we have ground here so this should be positive 15 volt rail 14.76 and this should be negative 14.78 wonderful just a quick check on the schematic that uh, both amplifiers have the negative side grounded so there is no problem probing here with a regular earth reference oscilloscope here is my test setup i soldered three pairs of wires for convenience this pair is low frequency amplifier input connected to function generator in the scope generating one kilohertz 100 millivolts peak to peak this is the output from the low frequency amplifier connected to the scope and one more pair is unmute connected to this power supply set to 5 volts and if we enable it we see some output and now this is reconfigured to test the high frequency amplifier and it is working as well this is the second speaker and this one did have some output from the tweeter so I think power rails here should be okay let's check them now I know where to check power rails let's power it up and this is the ground and here we should see positive 15 volt rail here it is here should be negative and it's there as well here we should see a higher voltage supply for the low uh, frequency amp 31 volts positive and 31 volts negative and here we should see power rails uh, for the high frequency amp 21 volts and uh, negative 21 no problem with power rails as expected and of course we see the same glue on the amplifier board and by the way there is no glue on preamp boards at all so uh, should be no problem with them so I need to remove this amp board uh, clean it up and hopefully in the process I will find what's wrong with the low frequency amplifier I cleaned up this board and found nothing really wrong so far this resistor measures fine but it is a bit corroded so I will replace it anyway and also a zener diode here has corroded pin on one side and it broke off but it must have been fine when we measured the rails it works as a reference for the positive 15 volt rail and I did not check the electrolytic caps yet so I need to fix the zener, install new resistor, check electrolytic caps and start testing this board. The problem might happen to be somewhere else with the preamp or with the woofer, but most likely the problem is here. Alright, I couldn't find 15 volt replacement zener, so I installed two zeners, 6 and 9 volts in series and I found a dead electrolytic capacitor 220 microfarads it was here in the low frequency amplifier I installed a new one and hopefully this was the problem let's give this a go the same test setup as before and look at this the low frequency amp is working 
And now for completeness the high frequency amp. And by the way, this mute-unmute signal on this connector does not affect the high frequency amp. It is always on. And the second board behaves exactly the same way. So I guess this is by design. This uh, connector goes to the preamp and I guess uh, it doesn't mute anything. And there are RC circuits there on the board to unmute in a few seconds after power up. So I think this is fine. So the second speaker works just fine, but the first one has no output from the tweeter. And here I am testing the resistance of the coil, and as you can see there is nothing at all. That's a bummer. So let's take the tweeter out and have a look at it. It was easy, just four screws holding this front panel. And here it is, I am testing right across the terminals. We should see around 4 ohms and there is nothing at all. Perhaps when the amplifier was not working, it had DC on the output and killed the tweeter. I searched for a while and unfortunately I couldn't find the replacement tweeter for the second generation speakers. I found one for the third generation on full compass for $17, but unfortunately it is slightly different from this one, it won't fit. So I think that's it for now, we have partial success, one working speaker and one speaker that needs a new tweeter. Thanks for watching, bye.